Iconic French designer and entrepreneur Coco Chanel once said that in order to be irreplaceable, one must always be different. This approach has guided leading South African businesswoman Vanessa Gounden. She thrives on challenges and her daring is complemented by sense and sensitivity. We met Vanessa at her Santon boutique where she shared the secrets of her success. Fashion has always been my passion and I always knew at some point that in my life I was going to have my own fashion label. But I also felt that I needed some kind of platform to bring out the creative side of me other than just having the business aspect to life. I found that there was also a gap in the market and how people were beginning to follow high fashion. Back in 2003, Vanessa already made her mark in the South African mining and resources sector, which was no mean achievement for the granddaughter of a sugar plantation worker. There were no silver spoons in sight when Vanessa grew up, but she still looks back fondly on her childhood. I grew up in a very pretty place called Eskom, Queensboro in Durban. Childhood has been extremely interesting and uh, free spirited. We used to commute to school by foot and that must have been about five or six k's of walk a day to Melbourne Primary School. We had a cold stove so indeed the earlier days of, we did not have electricity until it was, became available and what was quite nice was the fact that during winter those cold stoves you would huggle around and, and try to keep yourself warm. Part of how I tried to earn my pocket money was through helping my grandparents and parents on the farm. Um, we had uh, rose plantations and fruit and veg. Uh, but when we used to come back from school, uh, my cousins and I, we used to collect the roses as they were clipping them in the afternoons. Vanessa was just 10 when the group area Zach robbed her of her childhood on the flower farm. But her memories of her carefree days have inspired the floral, rose and butterfly motifs featured on many of her creations. Entering the business world was definitely quite a daunting thing. However, I think for me it, it has encouraged me to be able to ensure that everything I did going forward was never to repeat mistakes that I saw or experienced in the corporate environment. It wasn't all plain sailing, but a combination of daring, insight and good timing led to successful ventures that provided the capital for her entry into the fashion industry. I launched Vanessa Gown in 2011 in London. It took us about five years in the making of having to create the brand and the concept from scratch. I chose London as a destination as opposed to whether it was Paris or New York simply because London is noted for its creative aspects of fashion. Vanessa's current collection displays her subtle yet funky floral inspiration. I felt that the best way to tell the story about Africa is through my prints and to create a canvas that creates a sense of talkability. So you would see that the print is very much about giving an overview of Africa in essence. The design is very much again about ease and comfort. And one of the things that I've always focused on in terms of the design was to give a new flair to trench coats. With my travels, I often found that the trench coats in Europe were always black or grey and very boring. And I, I felt creating this whole print effect to it uh, would give it a new sense of style. So hence, trench coats are very big in the collection. The other aspect to it is the actual artwork. I found an artist here in South Africa that actually uses a uh, paint technique for nails that I wanted transferred onto buttons. And so it was part of the R&D that we've created and looked at the technique of hand painting on nails transferred on buttons. And so this is very much a key signature for the brand itself. And it's very artistic because it takes the print and reduces it as part of an artwork on the garment in itself. In everything she does, Vanessa brings together vision and reality. My personal style is one of elegance, I would assume, as well as comfort. I prefer wearing jeans and t-shirts when I'm actually in the design mode. But yes, I think it's actually much more conservative and elegant. I would say to all the youngsters that want to emerge into the business world, if there's no pain, there's no gain. Um, and uh, with high risk comes high reward um, and, and a lot of hard work. She's come a long way, but her hardy roots have helped make Vanessa a refreshingly authentic figure in business and fashion.